what's up guys welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna make in this quick video to show you uh, how to deal with the s3 translator not working so i'm going to show you what i usually do when i have a uh, a page written in another language i select and then it gives me some pop-up here and click and then it, it translates it to me in english but it's not working anymore so uh, i will go to my uh, add-on so to check what's happening so i will come here on this uh, three bars click there one time and then i will go to add-on i should have it somewhere here there and then as you can see here the, my s3 translator this is the the one that helped me to get the transition is disabled so they it they, they put a red bar here and then they say it's being disabled due to security or stability issue more information if we click there it's here giving why it's blocked so they say here it's because it's a violating mozilla add-on policy by collecting some user data here so what we're going to do here i will uh, i will ask you to go to the address bar on mozilla uh, you type about and then you put a colon or two dots and then you put you write config then press enter you should have a window like this one with a warning because we know what we are doing we're gonna go there if you don't know what you are doing please don't go here and change stuff so we're gonna click accept the risk and continue then we're gonna have this thing to, to search and i type extensions dot block list bl so it's already here if you see extensions dot block list dot enable this is what we need to change here it's uh, true so we're gonna change it to false please remember you don't have to do this because the reason why the block the 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 that add-on or uh, s3 translator is because it's collecting users data if you want to do if you want to if you still want to do it on your own risk do this if you are if you don't if you don't a risk please don't uh, uh, go on the steps so look for another alternative or another software to get the translation so I'll, i will try to 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 show you how if you if you really one of this person who want to still use this application so you're just gonna come here and click on this toggle here one time and then this value here it was true now it's gonna be false so this value should be false so if the value is false so things should be going well so if we go and go and check that um, we're going to check that add-on that was disabled automatically you can see here the add-on is back so uh, we can double check it again if we go to the page on another language let me see here i'm gonna select here as you can see when i select now i have this thing that is popping up if i click there it's giving me the translation in english so this is how you do it this is how you set uh, you take it you 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 restore it but just remember i'm warning you guys yeah uh, you have to know that it's been disabled because of it collecting user data if you want to continue using it with, the, with your own risk do this step if you like this video please click on the like button if you want to see more similar content please subscribe to the channel happy new year 2020 see you next time goodbye